How's it going guys? Jams here bringing you another FIFA 19 player review. And today we're going to be reviewing a very special foot birthday card, the 90 rated Brazilian right mid Marcelo. Yes, you heard me right. EA have given him a right mid position change for the foot birthday promotion um, and also given him some amazing stat boosts specific to his new position. So judging him purely as a right mid slash right wing in this review we're going to be taking a close look at his pace, shooting, passing, dribbling and physical performances in game. We'll give each category a rating out of 5 and then at the end we'll add up the results and give him a final overall rating out of 10. If you do find these reviews useful, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Also, click the notification button to ensure that you're alerted for any future uploads. So without further ado, let's get straight into the review. Marcelo has a base stat rating of 92, made up of 93 acceleration and 92 sprint speed, which is already a very good amount for any winger, which is why I chose to go for a finisher chem style, you know, to focus on just his shooting and physical. However, if you apply a Hawk chem style to him, it increases his pace to a 97 overall with 98 acceleration and 97 sprint speed. Now for any winger, that is absolutely amazing and puts him up there as one of the fastest right mid slash right wingers on the game alongside Kylian Mbappe, Gareth Bell um, and even George Best. I didn't really have any issues with him, you know, doing the one, two pass and then sending him down the wing. He'd always sort of keep ahead um, of any defender that he was coming up against. His high stamina definitely helps, you know, it lets him hold a sprint much longer than most defenders. I mean, this year, pace has been massively nerfed for attackers um, and it allows slow defenders to catch up to people who should just be clearly out of their way. But in saying that, I don't remember actually having a situation where I felt he was too slow or sluggish on the ball he would normally sort of outpace anyone that he came up against and on that note i'm going to score his pace a solid five out of five i mean after applying a hot chemistry style he's one less rating from max 99 um so to be honest you can't really score it any less than that his biggest upgrade on his foot birthday card is definitely his shooting it went from 71 on his normal gold card to an unbelievable 88 overall which is actually seven ratings higher than his team of the year card. His shooting boasts two maxed out stats at 99, being both his shot power and attack positioning, and these can both be felt in game as his shots are launched at the goal, and having the four star weak foot always allows you to be a little less predictable and hit shots with his right foot. In this clip here, you can see I slot the ball to him and decide to smash it near post, and obviously with the 99 shot power, keeper has absolutely no chance and literally just rocket straight into the back of the net and he would pretty much do that all game I mean his 99 attack positioning meant that he made some really good runs and he was sort of always there at the corner of my eye to just sort of slot through with either a through ball or a driven pass here you can see he picks up the ball and passes it to Neymar he holds it up really well Marcelo takes one touch to knock it in front and then just absolutely launches it into the top corner in this clip you can sort of see him at his strongest he makes these really good runs on the outside and just allows you to sort of get to the byline so you can either cut in for the cross or just like he did there a bit of skill and the finesse into the far corner his finishing goes from 83 to 88 if you use a hawk or finish of chemistry style and to be honest that is more than enough for any winger and for that reason i'm going to give him a four out of five for his shooting his passing upgrade wasn't as much as his shooting or pace, but it went up by 6 ratings taking it from 83 to 89. He has 90 short passing and only 81 long passing, but the reason why his card was so amazing for me was his 96 crossing and 91 curve. I haven't been able to master crossing on this FIFA for some reason, but he honestly made it look so easy. Cutting in from the right and hitting those in-swingers was so effective, he probably should have got double the assist that he managed to get if I was actually any good at finishing my chances first time. There were so many opportunities where I'd beat the last man, cut in, whip in an amazing ball, but I just couldn't simply put it into the back of the net, uh, which was my fault, not even the players I was using. I haven't had the best weekend this week in regards to gameplay. Uh, it's just been really slow and laggy, so I've been hitting the post a lot, um, crossbars, you name it, putting them wide from <laughs> six yard box, but um, he always did his job by putting in a really good delivery like in this clip he whips in an amazing ball and I just couldn't get it into the back of the net I hit straight at the keeper which was a really good save but 
should be scoring from that distance. Here you can see him play a really nice lofted through ball and it literally falls right on the head of Huntelaar and I managed to score this one because he brought his keeper out. Same thing again here, he picks up the ball on the edge of the box, shows some good strength. Um, I hit the guy with the reverse flip flap and then I managed to get in a really nice ball after cutting in and the, right onto Lozano's foot. That should just go straight in. Honestly, I was so shocked that I didn't score that. Uh, that seems to be a bit of a theme on FIFA 19 where just chances that you just expect to be goals. When you look at the replay afterwards, you can clearly see the arrow is facing like on target in the middle of the goal, but for some strange reason, they always either go wide or hit the post. Um, I'm not sure if that's just me, but it definitely happens a lot a lot more in this game than I think it has on any FIFA. Overall, I think his passing was really good in game and I think he deserved a well earned 4 out of 5. I haven't really played with Marcelo's left back card much this game um, and he only got a extra 3 plus rating on his dribbling so it went from 90 to 93 but what I can say is I absolutely enjoyed playing with his right wing card. I had so much fun on the wing. I didn't want to let go of the ball to be honest and that was probably part of the problem i kept sort of driven into trouble but he was just so nimble like he could change direction very quickly um i had neymar on the other side and honestly i couldn't really tell the difference when i had the ball with either of them neymar obviously is a little bit more agile but marcelo moved really well you know he just sort of cut in and out at will and um yeah his strength helped a lot I think his key stat in his dribbling was his 95 ball control and that was it, it stuck to his foot and I could tell that people found it hard to get the ball off of him. I found he was really fun to play with and I'm going to give his dribbling a solid 4.5 out of 5. I think the main reason this card was absolutely amazing in game is simply his physical. He has the physical of a defender but has also got the attacking attributes boosted during this promotion. Um, 92 stamina just means he can bomb up and down all game. I played 25 matches with him all in the weekend league and I didn't have to substitute him once. I think a couple of them went into extra time. He was fine right up to taking penalties. Um, he has 85 aggression, which is really good for an attacker. It just helps when you're sort of battling with those defenders because they all have high aggression. Um, so bringing his defensive stats into the attacking role makes him a much better right mid slash right wing than most of the wingers out there on the game already. He hasn't got really good jumping, it's only 76, but that's more than enough. Um, and his strength as well, 78. If you smack a hawk or finish it on him, that jumping becomes 86 and his strength is 83, which is perfect. Like It makes him an absolute unit on that wing. So just to give you an idea of what I was talking about in regards to his physical, there are only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven other cards in the game that play on the right side of the pitch that have better physical than him. One of them is a Halloween card, which is boosted at random. So we will disregard that. The Hulk, absolute tank. The guy's just built like the Hulk. Um, Mbappe's team of the year. Um, you've got Tokero, you know, silver right mid from the Spanish league. You've got Richarlison second in form, so meaning his normal goal was probably a lot less than that. Uh, you've got Gareth Bale's team of the year nominee and Mikel Antonio, who is also known for his strength and physicality. So it puts him right up there look, above prime moments Figo for physicality. So I uh, give his physical a solid five out of five, as I don't think there are many cards better on that side of the pitch. Is he worth the coins? I definitely say yes. At just over 600,000 coins, you're getting a very well-rounded right mid. If you have a look at the screenshot that I've got up here, there aren't many around his price mark that are as good as him. Um, you'd have to start getting into the sort of 900 plus just to find people that are actually better than him. And even then it's debatable. Uh, they don't have the physical. If you look, no one has as good a physical as him. Figo's close with 80. Um, and then obviously Kylian Mbappe's team of the year is the perfect card. That is what you call 10 out of 10 in every department uh, for his position. I was lucky enough to pack Marcelo out of a ultimate pack during one of the lightning rounds on Friday. And to be honest, I enjoyed him so much that I'm actually going to keep him and just build a team around him. It allows me to maybe do the um, Casemiro League SBC and put him in centre mid to get that strong link. Okay guys, that's the end of the review. Thanks for watching. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Also hit the notification button to alert you of any future uploads and I'll see you on the next one.